In Belarus, near Minsk, Van Assen International modernized the production line within the existing feed mill of the Zarzinski Agricultural Complex. The new line was installed while the factory continued to produce feed. Production was only interrupted for one month. This was necessary to connect the new line to the existing raw material and finished feed silos and start up the new line. Van Arsen is known for its experience in feed mill modernization and Van Arsen machines for their compact design, which allows installation in existing buildings with limited space. The concrete building of the feed mill was in good condition and offered sufficient free space to build up a new Van Arsen production line. After connecting to the existing silos and starting up the new line, the old production line was removed. The freed up space was used for the additional installation of a coating line and a second pelleting line. Modernization proved favorable and resulted in lower investment by using the existing infrastructure, building, raw materials silos and finished feed silos. The existing concrete building resulted in a clean and dust-free environment for optimal hygiene and a comfortable working environment. In winter, the temperature can drop to minus 25 degrees Celsius. The end result is a future-proof production line which offers a higher capacity and flexibility. It ensures the production of high-quality feed. Negorelsky Feed Mill is a subsidiary company of the Zazinski Agricultural Complex and produces chicken feed for broilers, parent and grandparent stock. The supply of raw materials takes place by train and truck. The raw materials are stored in the existing raw materials silos. Minerals come in big bags and are stored in six new silos, which have been installed in a free area between the existing raw material silos and the old production line. The raw materials are cleaned with the help of a drum cleaner and a magnet. From the silos, each product is weighed accurately in the long bin weigher with a capacity of 2,000 kilos. Minerals are dosed in a scale with a capacity of 500 kilos. Vertical transport of raw materials and semi-finished products to the top floors takes place by means of bucket elevators. A sensor on the elevators registers the movement of the bucket and warns in case of misalignment or belt breakage. The products are transported horizontally by means of chain conveyors. The product is led to the correct silo or bin through slides. Micro-ingredients such as premixes come in small bags and are emptied manually into the micro-ingredient dosing silos. The SID, the small ingredient dosing system, is used for dosing batches up to 200 kilos. When needed, Additional micro-ingredients can be dosed manually. The raw materials are ground in the hammer mill. The air used for the grinding process is filtered. In the mixer, all ingredients are blended into a homogeneous mixture. Micro-ingredients are fed directly to the mixer and do not pass the hammer mill. Oil dosage also takes place in the mixer. The first step in the pelleting process is the heat treatment of the meal through the addition of steam in the mixer. Steam treatment is necessary to optimize the pelleting process in terms of power consumption and pellet quality. In the LTV, the long-term vessel, the meal is hygienized. Pathological germs such as Salmonella bacteria are destroyed. In the two pellet mills, the meal is compressed into pellets of the desired thickness and size. The second pelleting line was bought by Jasinski a few years before from another supplier, but never installed. Understanding this unfortunate situation, Van Assen offered to integrate it into the modernization plan and took care of the installation. Before the new production lines were installed, the building had to be strengthened to bear the weight of the new machinery. Steel support beams were installed and new holes were cut in the reinforced floors. In the counterflow cooler, the pellets are cooled to 5 degrees above ambient temperature. Air is sucked in through an opening at the bottom of the cooler. 
the air used for cooling the pallets is filtered in an isolated cyclone. The trap dust is returned to the pellet mill and the filtered air is discharged through the roof. If required, the pellets can be crumbled. Next, the pellets or crumbs are sieved to free them of dust. In the coating line, additional fat, water and heat sensitive ingredients such as enzymes can be added to the cold pellets and crumbs to optimize the nutritional and energy value of the feed. The pellets and crumbs are transported to the existing finished feed silos or packed in small bags which are produced for the local community. From the existing finished feed silos the end product is supplied in bulk by truck or by train to their own chicken farms. The Van Aassen automation system is used for total control of the feed mill. This automation system offers clear visual displays with optimization and bottleneck analysis tools. All these features are within range of a mouse click and operators don't have to switch programs to perform various tasks. To ensure optimal hygiene, the dust in all internal transport systems is continuously sucked away and the floors are kept dust-free. This modernized production line of the Zarzinski Agricultural Complex is another proof of an investment that provides maximum added value. This future-proof production line offers a higher capacity of at least 20 tons per hour, higher flexibility in raw material handling and diversity by the addition of a separate dosing section with six silos for minerals and a dosing section for fine ingredients and premixes, production of salmonella free and high quality feed through the addition of an LTV in the pelleting line, optimization of the formulas through the addition of a post pelleting coating line and higher efficiency with fewer employees with the help of the advanced feed mill automation system. For the Jarzinski Agricultural Complex, Van Aassen was the vital link in modernizing this feed mill.